Hi there! In this tutorial, you'll learn how to put a face onto your own object using Photoshop, and then do face fitting and animation in Crazy Talk Animator. First, what you want to do in Photoshop is have all of your necessary parts loaded, such as an eye and a mouth in this case. Notice that they are all transparent PNGs. The first thing I'm going to do is select the entire mouth by using the Ctrl A hotkey. Then I'll use Ctrl C to copy, and move over to my Apple window, and press Ctrl V to paste. The mouth seems a bit too big, so now I'll use the transform function by pressing Ctrl T to resize and reposition the mouth properly. Make sure you toggle the Maintain Aspect Ratio button at the top. After that, I'll move on to the eyes. I want to get rid of the eyebrow first. There are many ways to do this, but I'll just change the brush size a bit and use the simple erase tool. After that's done, there's one more thing I want to do. You'll notice that there's a skin colored fringe behind the eyelash on the eye there, and I want to get rid of that. The easiest way to do this is to use the magic wand tool to select the pink areas, and then simply press delete to get rid of them. If I select the areas between the eyelashes, it shouldn't take too long. You can also press Ctrl plus to zoom in a bit and get a more detailed selection area. Once I've finished taking out all the pink from above the eyelash, I'll use the same technique that I used on the mouth to simply copy and paste the eye onto the apple. But that's only one eye, so how do I get a second one? You'll have to start by copying the entire layer for the eye, which in this case is layer 2. What you want to do next is create a blank layer, in this case layer 3, and paste the same eye to that layer. The only problem now is that the eyes are facing the same way. For this, you can use the transform command again, and drag the left side of the transform box across the image and to the other side, which will essentially flip the image. Now you can reposition it directly on your character, and you'll have your completed Apple character image. From there, just go and save it as a transparent PNG so you don't have to mask out the background in Animator. Now I'll enter the face creator in Animator and import my image. I don't need to crop it or mask out a background, so I'll move directly to the face fitting. Once I'm done setting my main four points, I'll move on to the next step once again. I'll skip to the detailed fitting mode here. Since the mouth and eyes here are going to be the original ones that came with your image, it's important to fit them properly. You can zoom in on the eyes to get a better look at where you're putting your markers. Make sure you get all the eyeball material within your markers, otherwise your end result will look pretty weird. For the mouth, you just want to make sure that most of your lip material is encompassed by the markers, and that your center line follows along the mouth opening of your character. Your side markers should be at the side openings for the mouth. Once all of that is done, you can zoom out and then move on to giving your character some teeth. These teeth will appear when your character's mouth separates. I'll just give it some regular white teeth for now, and then I'll press OK to finalize my character. In stage mode, just select No to continue on to the body photo fitting, unless you want to give your character a body. Now in stage mode, I'm testing out some of the emotions my character can display by using facial puppeteering. As you can tell, the animation is slightly different than when you use embedded Crazy Talk eyes, especially when the eyes are moving. The mouth looks a little bit better as well with those big lips to give it more emphasis and provide contrast with the white teeth. You can select and deselect different parts of the face on the facial puppeteering dummy to the right to manipulate different parts in your animation. With the types of characters who have their original eyes particularly, you may want to adjust the eyeball movement strength. Just go to the advanced menu on the bottom right and take the X and Y values of each eye down. You'll see afterwards that the eyes won't move as much with the mouse movements. When you're ready to record a motion, go ahead and click the record button, then move your character's head around for emphasis. What I'm going to do next is add in a little bit of text-to-speech so you can see my character talking with expression at the same time. Just enter in your text and press enter. After that, you can see my character smiling and talking. Hi there, I'm a cool crazy talk animator character. In the last example, I saved my apple as a head, but here I'll save it as a character. The procedure is the same, just hit the add button on the bottom of the content manager and enter in your name, and you're done. 
check out all the other tutorials for how to add body parts to your character.